everybody, it's Pixel, and we're back with a very fun little bread video today from our Star Wars Ultimate Cookbook Universe. I think I said that backwards, but who cares? In Star Wars, everything is backwards. Today we're going to be making Candon Zand Rolls, which actually look really amazing, and I hope mine turn out that good. But for that, we're going to need an envelope of dry yeast, three cups of flour, half a tablespoon of cinnamon, three-fourths cup warm Fourth, milk, no, warmed half up. Half a cup, yeah. A half a teaspoon of salt. That would be a lot of salt. <laughs> One-fourth a teaspoon of allspice, one large egg, a half a cup of diced apricots, a half a cup of dry, diced cranberries, and a half a cup of pecans. One tablespoon of olive oil, and one large egg yolk, which I will get out later because those are all just for baking and egg washing it so it's golden brown in the long run. But you know the drill. We should get going. Okay, our first major step is to get the milk warm, which I nuked mine for about 30 seconds in the microwave. Oh, no. Put in our packet of yeast. Give it a quick stir. I know, the noise, huh? I'll need to mix it up a little bit, and we're going to let that sit for about five minutes until it is frothy looking. All right, now that your yeast and your milk have combined and frothed up some, I'm going to add in our flour, put in our salt, add our one egg, make sure there's nothing in there, and put our cinnamon and salt over here to the side, and there's other spices. If you have an electric mixer, that's great, and if you have a bread hook, that's even better, because this is going to be going on for the next five minutes to mix together thoroughly. All right, our last step when it's mixed thoroughly is to push it together some and place it in a well-oiled bowl. This is going to sit for about an hour and a half until it doubles in size, hopefully. <laughs> All right, we didn't add our fruit in when we mixed it, and that's okay, because sometimes boo-boos happen. We just added some onto a long, rolled-out surface of this, and I'm now just going to, you know, start incorporating it into the bread thoroughly. So, I'm going to get to work on that, and if it falls out, just stick it in the dough and, you know, start kneading it. It's looking a lot better than it did. Very fruity and nutty. Still looking forward to this. All right, well, give me a few more minutes to work the fruit in, and I'll be back to show you how we put it in the oven. Okay, we have added in our fruit, and it's time to cut up our rolled out bread. Try to make it even. I think I already didn't make it even. That's okay at this point. So one, two, three. Giving that one a little more because this one's longer. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna be like too short, big deal. Oops. Seven. Move your butt, Mr. Pan, for a moment. Eight. <laughs> That's ironic. I have like 11. <laughs> Now they may be cut a little wonky, but I wanted them all to be around the same size. And sometimes when you roll something out, it gives you different little... So much like monkey bread, we are going to be putting these into our little dish. And if some of the fruit falls out, don't worry. One, I did it wrong. And two, I'm putting it in now. But it is fine for it to fall out. That was a little bigger. Oh, well... Once these are all in the pan, well before we bake it, we are going to put them into another hour of rising. Set so our extra hour of raising in, and it has puffed up a lot. We're going to be putting that into our oven that is preheated to 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. And then I'll be back to show you what we got. All right, these have been cooking for about 25 minutes and then a tiny bit more just to get that nice sheen brown on it. We did add an egg wash with some water in it to give them that. And now after they sit for probably about a good five or ten minutes, we're going to take one out and taste it. 
So we'll be back. It's been sitting for a good 10 minutes, maybe. It's moist and comes apart very easily. It looks well baked. Let's give it a try. Camera girl. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> you just dropped some. I did. Of the precious bread. I did. Oh yeah. I'm out for you. Oh wow. I'm chewing. <laughs> oh my god, put some butter on this and we'll be freaking amazeballs. Ooh, you could put cinnamon butter on this and it would be amazing. Oh, heck yeah. yeah oh my god, the cinnamon I think would make a perfect compliment. I'm going to have to make some for today. Alright, well we both seem to enjoy this thoroughly. I can't think of anything that could really go better with it, considering all the little things that did go wrong on the process of making it, but it turned out alright. Just proves that sometimes you can mess up and still make it work. Anyway... Thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you ever make it, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me how it went. And Lyrical's going to steal the whole pan. Little does she know, it's hot. <laughs> All right, anyway, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.